Illustrator comes with a powerful tool, Objects on Path. It's a feature recently added to Illustrator. So let's show you how to use it. I want to use a circle, but this could be any shape. It could be a square, star design, all kinds of different shapes can be used. And then I'm going to create another shape that I'm going to place around it. I'm going to create multiple of these. So let's just go over here, selection tool, hold down the alter option key and drag. So I'm just duplicating this. Now I've done it quite loosely and I've created a number of them. What I can now do, selection tool, just select them all, all selected, then go over here and objects on path. So it's this one. This may be in a different position, obviously depending on your setup. What you can then do is hover over here and then you'll notice as you do that, this will change, the cursor will change. This is the path I want to use, so I'm just going to click it. And now they're all placed around that, all evenly spaced. And you can also change the spacing. So just go here, you see here, space, drag this way. And you can see they all get crunched up very, very close. You can also drag it that way and it will go to the maximum, all evenly distributed. You can also rotate them. So if I just go down here, you can see another little tool there and you can rotate it. Now, as you rotate it, it rotates around a certain point. You can modify that point. Just go down here in the context or go to the properties, which you can find in the window menu and properties. You can modify this. So you can go here, you've got here 200, or you can put it to 120, say, and that will change. Also, you can click here. So just click one of these and you can see as you do that, this will change. Now, it's quite a bit tricky to select. I must say, it's not the easiest thing to click those. But once you've selected that point, now what you can do, you can change the value here again. Also, you can move these around. You don't have to keep them in the same position. So let's just go with this one and you can just drag it there. But it will bounce back because of the spacing. But you can drag this down here and move it around so you can reposition it. Now at this point, it doesn't make much sense because they're all the same shapes. But what you can do, let's just remove that. You can use multiple shapes, different designs. So let's just go and create another set of shapes. So I'm just going to create that. And this time I'm just going to add a rectangle into it. So here's a rectangle. Well, I can do exactly the same as before. I can duplicate those. So let's select that, hold down the alter option key and drag. And I can drag this around and create multiple copies of this. Okay, I've got all those. What I can now do exactly the same as before, selection tool, and I can select all of them. So all are selected, again, go back here, select objects on path, hover over here and click this. So just click this and now they're all placed around there. Now exactly the same as before, you can modify the spacing so you can change this. Obviously they're all fairly crunched up. You've got so many different objects now, but what it does mean is you can now click the individual ones and you can move them these dots around here, not this, that's the center of the object. So if you try and use that, you just move the object. This is what you need to do, select and move. And you can move it and reposition it. And as you see what happens then, as you drag that around, all the positions change. So you can just go there all the way around. Maybe you decide, you know what, you want that there. And you can then see you've got two there, two circles. And you can tweak it in all kinds of ways. You can still continue to do this, modify the angle. So just go down here and turn that around and drag that to see it even clearly. You can see now you've got a slightly different design there. Again, go this one and drag, and you can drag it to that position and so on. All kinds of different designs can be applied around that circle now. Well, let's do this in a slightly different way. It makes it even more flexible. Let's just go over here, again, circle. I'm using circle for this, but it doesn't have to be. So I've got the circle here. Now I'm going to create another circle or design, something like that. But this time I'm going to turn that into a symbol. So go over here. Here's the symbols. You can find that in the window menu and down to symbols. Symbols are great because you can change them at a later point. So just create this. Go over to the right side menu here. Just over here. Click here and new symbol. That will create it as a symbol. Place it in this thing. You can see I've already got some examples in there of the blue circle, but I'm just going to create it again and I'm going to click OK. Gives it a name, of course, movie clip, etc. And now what you can do is with this, I can duplicate this. But I'm 
just before I do that, you notice I've got also got this other one. So I'm just going to drag this one out. And this is another symbol I created earlier. So this symbol, I've got two symbols, exactly the same now as we're at previous example, but they're symbols, so they can be changed. So select over there using the selection tool, hold down the alter option key and duplicate them. Okay, I've created all those. What I can now do is I can gain exactly the same as before, selection tool, select all of them. So all are selected. Now with them all selected, I can go here again. Uh, it makes sense. I click there, objects on path, and click this one. Okay, and this is the one I want. So click here, and they're all placed around there. But this time they're symbols. That means I can go over here and I can change them. So this one, I want to change this one. I've got a circle here. Don't want a circle now. I've suddenly changed mine. So now I decide, you know what? I want maybe some text. So instead of a circle, I can change this. So just remove it. And here's the center of the symbol. That's always useful. You could create it out here, of course, but what you can do, you can create some type and I'm going to go for some very basic lorem ipsum, good old lorem ipsum. And I can resize it. I can recolor it, all kinds of different things, but it's based around that center. So it's going to be approximately the same position as before. I can now come out of it. So go here, new symbol, just want to exit. You can do that other ways, but now you can see what's happened. We've got names there instead. And you can also gain reposition it. So if you decide, you know what, let's go here, make certain it's, let's just dismiss, make certain it's selected, so it's selected. You can use the move tool or selection tool, I should say, and reposition these. So what you can do, you can then go here. So select and move this around. So you might want to move that. Maybe you want to select this one. So this is the one that's going to be used. You can move it around, reposition it to there and so on. And exactly before you move this one. You can also change the color. You might decide, oh, I don't want that color. Well, go here again, double click. You're into this, you can change it. So let's just go for maybe red. Ah, I'm just gonna go for red, so red there, click OK. And also maybe I can go for a stroke. So let's do stroke setting seven, just something like that. Maybe add an effect, so effect, maybe go stylize, and let's go for a drop shadow. So drop shadow, click OK. So I've got this design now. Exactly the same before, go out of it, come out, and you'll see it changes up here. No see in the symbols, it's been changed, and you've now got this design. Again, as before, you can select this object, and then you can reposition this, so you can move this around. So let's just go drag this around there, position that, or decide, you know what, that's the one I want to move. And I can move it around, you can see it still follows that curve all the way around. So you can reposition it, heart's content. You can still rotate them. So again, create different designs that way. Also, what you can do, go out there, you can also move, resize this. So let's just resize this design. So you can see, you can do that, create that, hold down the alter option key and duplicate. It's the same type of object. You can see exact same, but now you can manipulate it. So you go here, selection move, you can move that to create different designs from this one. So you can create some like, you know, uniqueness to it. So move that around, maybe exact same as before. You decide, do you want to change the color? If you change the color here, it will change it also here. It's a symbol, it will change throughout. So let's just remove that now. So what you can also do, let's just create another curve. So let's just go over here. And I'm going to go with, say, the pencil tool. So just create pencil. And I'm just going to create a sort of random design there. And I'm just going to again add these. So I'm just going to go with this one, the symbol. And I'm going to go with this one. So with those, I can now, with the section tool, I can duplicate this. So I'm just going to duplicate it multiple, a couple of times. OK, so you've got that. What you can then do is selection tool there. You can just select all of them. Don't have to select them all, you could maybe select three or four of them. It's up to you, of course, how many you want to select. Then with that, again, go here, objects on path, and then hover over here, and you can see then this appears, and you can click on this. And now it's distributed all along that bit higgly piggly, but it is supposedly all evenly spaced, and you can still modify it. So you can see again, you've got this tool here, the space, and you can then change the spacing so you can go like that now of course the way it's created because i spaced them out in a slightly odd way when i created it the design becomes 
with these like obviously circle, 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 square, square, etc. But you can, of course, exactly the same as before, reposition them. So if you want to get a lovely even design, simply select there, just drag there, drag there, and drag down to there. So you can then place it afterwards. And you can maybe move this one. And you can see then you can build up a design like that. A variety of different designs simply just by moving them. Exactly the same before. You can always go here, double click, go here, and you can then modify this design. Maybe make it slightly bigger, maybe hold down the ultra option key, duplicate the design, something like that. Go and change the color. So let's go and make it yellow. Click OK. Got a design like that. Game. I finished editing now. I can exit out. So just click here, exit that. And you can see you've got this design now and literally thousands of different designs, multiple shapes and images can be created using this tool. And of course you can still tweak things as well. So at any point you can always go to this path and you can see the path there. Just double click. Now you've got that selected. You've got that selected. Double click there and you can manipulate this, the path itself. So let's just change the path. Let's go and tweak it in a slightly different way. Let's just go over here and use the curvature tool. So curvature tool. Now you can see you get the points here and you can then tweak this. Let's just change it just a bit just to see the result of that. Now at the moment it doesn't seem to be updating anything. And you might want to do this, you might do that, and maybe go over here and maybe change it to say six points. So you've got a design like that. Modify the stroke in multiple ways, but now I'm just going to come out. And now you can see it's changed again. So as I just come out back to that, you've got a modified pass, but it's still respecting the spacing, etc. That was added before. And you can still do exactly the same before again with this, make sure it's selected. Move this out of the way, it always gets in the way, doesn't it? And you can still rotate these around and reposition like that, as well as change the spacing as well by just going up here. So you can change the spacing so they're all crunched, and you can see design like that, and so on. Create very unique designs. That's in Illustrator. Hope you found this of interest. Please put some comments below. Have you used this tool? Will you use this tool? Have you been finding this tool very useful? Of course, you can combine this in multiple ways because, of course, once you've got this, then you can see you can develop it with the other tools as well to create some truly weird and wonderful designs. So again, I will be doing some additional videos exploring other features of this new tool. Bye.